Hi besties and welcome back to my podcast Kel's Life. My name is Kelly. Thank you so much for listening in or watching on YouTube. I'm so happy that you're here and I can't wait to chit chat with you guys like we're on FaceTime today. I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. It's going to be all about finding your own personal style and I just want to share that I am releasing every episode from here on out on Thursdays instead of Tuesdays so mark that in your calendar and I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. I thought it'd be fun to talk about finding your personal style because I recently talked about re-entering my preppy era and when I say this I'm kind of kidding but honestly I'm completely serious. So in case you guys don't know I would consider my style very preppy and classic and timeless kind of like the old preppy not the super colorful one but like polos, J. Crew, that more classic Lily Pulitzer look and I absolutely love it hence the name Kelly Prepster, preppy prepster that's how it all came together. Well in the last few years with being in college, finishing up college, kind of finding myself growing up, I think I really have fallen out of the preppy style and I got caught up in a lot of trends and stuff and trying to find like my own unique style and I realized that it's not for me. I like the preppy style and I think that is what my unique style is because of course everyone's gonna have their own spin on something. I really am serious when I say I'm re-entering my preppy era. I have a whole video on my YouTube channel about it. I post a TikTok about it. I just want to bring back that timeless look so I thought it'd be fun because I'm currently going through finding my style and re-entering my preppy era so I thought why not make a whole podcast episode about it I'm going to share my tips and tricks on how you can find your style as well I do want to say everyone's style is going to be completely different even if we like the same things something's going to make it a little bit different for each and every one of us but I think that's what makes it so beautiful because it's so completely unique to you so I just have a few tips and tricks to share with you guys in the first one that I think is so important because again it's completely customized to you is you need to think about your lifestyle so when I say this I am talking about how is your fashion going to affect your work how is your fashion going to affect your lifestyle so if you're a very active person let's say that you work at a gym as a personal trainer your fashion is probably going to be so much different than someone that works as a front desk person at a hotel do you know what I'm trying to say those are just very broad examples that I could think of because like when you work at a hotel more than likely you're probably going to be very business casual or very business professional where if you work at a gym you're going to be wearing athleisure and athletic wear depending on your lifestyle what you do who you are your style is going to change a little bit so to put this in perspective of my lifestyle I get to work from home and I share my fashion so I can kind of wear whatever I like and again everyone's situation is so unique to them which makes their fashion so unique and I like to think when I get dressed as if I'm going to school and I know that sounds really silly I graduated in 2021 so it's been a while but that is what I think of when I pull out my outfits I'm like okay this would be appropriate to wear I like this look and something you need to think of when you're creating your style again it could be like are you dressing for comfort or do you have to dress a certain way for work and then it's also really important to consider trends now you hear me out on this because when I was kind of lost in my style when I was trying a bunch of new things I was trying a bunch of trends which is great it's a beautiful thing to experiment and find out what you like. I'm a huge believer you have to try something to figure out if you like it or not. And you might try 100 things and be like, I really don't like 98 of those things. And that's okay, but at least you tried it. So when I talk about consider trends, I'm talking about pull out a magazine, go on what's trending on TikTok, go to the store and look at new pieces, figure out what's trending, see if it sparks any interest in what you like or what you wear, if it like makes you go, oh, that's kind of cool. For example, I really think cowboy boots are really cool. They're not really typically in the preppy wardrobe, but it's a fun spin to add to any outfit. And I know that Southern look is kind of trending again, but with talking about trends, it's also really important to talk about you do not have to follow any trends that you don't want to, but again, a beautiful beautiful thing going on right now in 2023 is there's so many trends. There's so many things that are in one day and out the next that you could really try whatever you want and someone might think it's trendy. With talking about what's trendy, it's also important to find inspiration. So even if you have no idea, you're complete rock bottom, you don't know where you want to start, like there's got to be a little something that you're like, okay, well, I, I do know I like this or I see someone wearing this and I think that would be cute to try. We're going to call this your inspo and you're going to create a mood board. So 
for me, I love browsing Pinterest. I love looking up, like, I'll, I know I like the preppy style, so I'll type in preppy outfits. And there's different types of preppy. I'm putting that in air quotes if you guys are watching on YouTube because now there's, like, a new preppy, which is, like, Visco Girl. It's really colorful. It's really cute, frilly dresses. I like that look, but I'm talking about, like, timeless polos, chinos, that kind of button-up layering preppy. So you're just kind of typing key phrases. Pinterest is really cool because they can recommend different things. Things. they can figure out what you like based on a few things that you save or click on you can do this with Instagram and with the explore page and save people's posts you can go on YouTube I've created tons of lookbooks and I love sharing and documenting my outfits but I like doing that in case someone likes how I style something they can have that as inspiration you can do this with magazines and I love getting a physical magazine in the mail I just recently got Cosmo I have Harper's Bazaar and it's one of those things that you don't have to read front to back like you can but you can just flip through and be like, wow, I really like that color combo. Or wow, those shoes are really cute. I wonder if I can find something similar. It sparks that inspiration and you can put that on your mood board and create a vision of what you like. And with that being said, another great way to get inspiration is from watching your favorite movies. See what the characters are wearing. For example, I love the Carrie Diaries. I love Sex in the City. That is a fashion themed show, so it's a little easy here, but people go gaga over their outfits. And honestly, I do too because they're so fun and colorful unique also um i'm thinking of another example i can't remember the exact movie i want to say it was the rear view window i watched it in a film class in college and grace kelly was in it and i like have heard of grace kelly but i never have seen her in a movie and when i did after that class i went home and pinterest grace kelly and she has all of this beautiful style and an aesthetic and just finding people that you find inspiring or you like their style or there's something about them that you are drawn to that is so important to kind of put in your inspo or kind of take a mental note of also with that it can be like icons like I know a lot of girls like Taylor Swift and they can base their outfits off of it I'm on Taylor Swift TikTok right now and the eras tour has started everyone's sharing their outfits which is so fun and they base it off of the, her music which again is a great example of finding inspiration from things to make outfits out of so with that being said you're going to start building pieces in your wardrobe and I have tons of videos of this on my channel called my essentials and so you're going to find out what your staple pieces are for your style your essentials and essentially you're going to build a capsule wardrobe and i think this is so cool so let me break it down for you for my example of being preppy and wanting the preppy style so if i'm going to build a spring wardrobe with you guys and i'm starting fresh i'm probably going to find a pair of denim that i consider preppy a pair of shorts that i like a skirt and probably a dress then i'm going to find a short sleeve t-shirt a sweater and a jacket and that is going to be the core essentials and the capsule wardrobe and a great way to think of this to take it even further each of these things you should be able to style at least three different ways and I have a whole video on my YouTube channel that has gone viral it's styling 10 pieces 40 different ways I think the concept of capsule wardrobes is so fascinating you can do it with any style and I think it's so cool so you should definitely google that later today or look into it but when you're building this wardrobe you want to like ask yourself these questions do you prefer pants or skirts do you like dresses or skirts do you like patterns or solids do you like stripes or prints there's all these different questions and you can find out so much about yourself with your personal style do you like silver or gold jewelry because accessorizing and wearing the right pair of shoes can spice up any outfit as well say you have a simple pair of denim jeans and a white t-shirt very staple for anyone's style. The way you accessorize this is going to make your style really stick out. So for example, if I had a pair of denim jeans and a white top and say I wasn't dressing preppy, a way that someone might style this is with a pair of black Chuck Taylors and maybe a fun pair of sunglasses. And that's going to be a little bit more edgy than my style, but it's still really cute. And I think you could imagine that. Now let's make it more preppy and add a pair of Jack Rogers or ballet flats with a little ribbon belt in the middle. Do you see how those two accessories can change a whole look? Finding the right accessories and shoes that speak to you can make a world of a difference when you are creating this outfit and creating this new personal style for yourself. I think it's so important too to note, forget the rules. Now I always joke about this every time I say this, rules are meant to be broken. So like, yes, the don't wear white after Labor Day, break it, wear white all year round. It's so fun, you've heard of winter whites, it's fun. Don't mix brown and black. 
try it, experiment, make it unique to you. My favorite rule is mixing red and pink. I think it's kind of taboo, but I think it looks great. It's one of my favorite color combos. There are so many different rules that you can break, mixing different textures, wearing different things in the different seasons, layering. Try it out. Just try it out and find out if you like it. Do what you like. If you like something, even if no one else is doing it or someone thinks it's weird, it doesn't matter. That's the whole thing of like expressing yourself as using fashion to do so. One of my favorite things to mention with expressing yourself is adding a funky piece to any outfit. So again, let's go back to that white t-shirt with denim jeans. Um, If you could add like a fun, unique hair bow that's really like your color palette. And it's even more fun if you can DIY it. So for example, if you guys have seen the Carrie Diaries, she has a custom purse that says Carrie. Basically, her little sister steals her mom's purse that is now her purse and spills nail polish on it. And she could either be really sad about it because the bag ruined essentially because it has nail polish on the outside but she takes it and DIYs it and makes it this beautiful bag that splatter paint with nail polish and it says carry with nail polish. I was so inspired by that so inspired by that that I went out bought a black bag and poured nail polish on it and wrote my name on it and that made any outfit so unique because it had my own personal touch to it. So if you're able and creative and want to DIY something if you see something in a magazine that you like and it's custom made and it's a little expensive see if you can figure out how to do it. It makes your personal style, your brand, your outfit, your look so much more unique and it creates these beautiful opportunities of conversation about your style which I think is so fun and so unique and again I could talk about this forever. I think my last big tip that I want to share with you guys when you are finding your personal style and once you have kind of established what you like you have those essentials in your wardrobe and you're still probably picking up pieces here and there and building this wardrobe once you get a little bit more established into your new style remove the old clothes and so for example for me recently Recently, I have tried a bunch of different trends, not a whole lot, but enough that I have some pieces in my wardrobe that I'm like, I just know I'm not going to wear this. It's not me. I don't like it. Take it out of your closet. Give it to a friend. Donate it. Resell it. Whatever you want to do with it. But don't let that hold you back from finding your style and creating these looks that you really want to do. And again, with that being said, who says you can't do that every year too? But I will say it's so important to hold on to those forever pieces. And I talk about this on my channel all the time. Forever pieces are those things that you don't want to keep buying because they're really good quality. So for example, that pair of denim jeans that just fit perfectly, the leather boots that were a little pricey, keep those. Even if you don't think they're going to be your style, keep them. You will find use for them. That white button down shirt that goes for work, that's crisp, it's great for job interviews, you know how to style it, keep that. Even if you don't think you're going to wear it, some of those basics are so important to keep and I like to call them forever pieces. But those are all of my notes for this episode. If you guys would like to dive more into finding your personal style, be sure to let me know. My Instagram and TikTok are both at Kelly underscore Prepster. I'd love to chit chat with you guys. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to leave a comment. I do read and respond back to every single comment. If you're listening on a podcast platform, thank you so much. I would love it if you guys can follow or leave a review, whatever it is on that platform. It seriously means the world to me. I can't believe that we're already six episodes in. I feel like I've been getting so many sweet comments about my podcast and that you guys like it. I really want to work on getting the episodes a little bit longer so if that's something you're interested in let me know as well because I know I like a long podcast but I also like little ones well so I would love to hear some feedback on that if you don't mind because I would really appreciate it. I just really hope this episode was helpful. If you guys have any requests for what you want to talk about next let me know but I just thought this would be fun to share since I'm going through it. It might be relatable or helpful for someone watching because I know we're all besties and we're all going through things at different times in our life. So again, thank you so much for watching or listening. You guys are seriously so amazing and I'll see you guys next Thursday for my next episode of Kel's Life. Bye guys!